So I'm going to throw it and then run again. All right, I'm out. Wasp nest. Now, how do I get rid of it? How do I get rid of them? I don't want to use any chemicals. I don't want to use gasoline. I don't want to use the, you know, the chemical spray stuff that you can shoot from a hundred feet away. But I want to do it naturally and I want to get it away from my house and get it away from everybody and my my grandkids so i've heard this thing called diatomaceous earth and it's supposed to kill bugs right it's very hot out here <clears throat> so i'm going to give this thing a shot i uh actually have on hand some diatomaceous earth i've got it in this bucket now, I don't have anything fancy that I plan on using on it. I just want to, you know, act like I'm really in a hurry and just throw some of that because, well, you know, our lives are in danger, right? When you get one sting and these wa they're wasps, they can keep stinging you over and over. And if you're a little kid, you could go into anaphylactic shock if you're allergic to them. Well, if you're an adult too, but anyway, I just want to get rid of them and I want to get rid of them quick. So, I'm going to throw some diatomaceous earth powder on them. And I get one chance. I might get two chances, but I doubt I get two chances because once I throw some up, something up there, they're going to be pretty pissed off. Let's see if we can zoom up on it. I can't see anything because it's very bright out here. So, <clears throat> I do have this handy pest pistol, but I want to act like nobody's got a pest pistol. But everybody should have diatomaceous earth because there's over a thousand uses for this stuff. Including eating it. Yes, it's, it's, it's that wonderful. It's just silica. Alright, so here we go. I get one shot. And then my aim better be good. I'm going to get a giant handful and then I'm going to run. You know what's really frustrating? Well, it turns out I threw it up in there and then my phone camera shut off because it said that it got too hot sitting out here in the sun and out in this heat. So I'm going to show you what I did. I tossed it up there real quick and I ran. And I can't even see the camera. I got it on. I can't see the phone. It's on as bright as it'll go. I hope you guys can see it. I'll have to do a little editing. But you can see all the powder there. And I'm going to give her one more shot at throwing it up there. They don't seem to be bothering me yet. But I'll give it one more shot. can't really tell where this is. Hopefully it's on there. Okay. I'm going to show you exactly how I did it here and I'll back off. I'll wait for them to leave. There's one there. So I'm going to throw it and then run again.
Sometimes if you get it directly on them, they just drop down to the ground. Now I see them flying around with DE on them. Here's one coming right towards me. Okay, he just fell to the ground and I stepped on him. He's gone. She. I don't know what it is. There's another one on the wall over there I could kill. But that's kind of what they do. They get the dust in their wings, they can't do anything, they drop down to the ground and BAM! You pounce on them. Alright. So that's that. It really works. So if you got diatomaceous earth, I use the food grade. Don't get any other kind. Use the food grade. Diatomaceous earth. Use it. And I guarantee you they won't come back to this nest, but we'll check on this nest a little bit later on and see how it's going. Okay. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so <clears throat> here's what we're dealing with. All wasps are essentially gone. And that was at 2.30 in the afternoon that I threw DE up there. And it is now 7.30, or it's 8, excuse me, it's 8 o'clock at night, 8.15. And I did see one flying around here somewhere. And it keeps going up to the nest and not wanting to really have anything to do with it and sometimes it'll land on it and then just fly away because it didn't want to have anything to do with it but really you know I came out here at uh, a couple hours later about 4.30 or around 4.30 or 5 and pretty much all of them but three were gone and then now it's down to one so really I could have taken the nest down a long time ago so I'm going to take the nest down probably sometime tomorrow because I'm, I'm a little too exhausted uh, I did see one over here as if it wanted to make another nest I see a little thing hanging down a little stem as I think one is trying to start another nest right there so what I'll do is just throw a little DE up there and it'll be gone. And eventually, no wasps will want to have anything to do with this place. They just move on. And this was the one that I stepped on earlier because it just fell to the ground. But those that did get DE on them, I'm sure they're eventually going to die because they'll end up just scratching themselves to death trying to get it off and it's like sandpaper and it'll scratch away their uh, cuticle, waxy cuticle that keeps the moisture inside them and they'll eventually dehydrate and die. So, but this is mechanically killing them and not chemically so I'm not coming into contact with chemicals that yet I'm coming into contact with diatomaceous earth, which is 100% minerals. And nobody tells you this. You know what? Nobody tells you this. Diatomaceous earth is silica minerals from plants. Nobody tells you that. I've got some links down below in the description box. I'll link to all of my stuff on diatomaceous earth. But uh, it's got so many uses. And uh, I'm going to do another video on, on, on how I keep squash bugs away. So stay tuned for that. This is the Polynation. Bye-bye.